Hi everyone, I'm Eva and welcome back to Hana Crochet Design. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this tote bag using printable iron-on for dark fabric. I sketch and draw everything in Procreate apps. This is my old iPad Air which I purchased back in 2019 and this is the first generation of Apple Pencil. I have finished my design. I'm gonna share this as PNG file and airdrop this to my computer. Open Kirkat Design Space, create new canvas and upload that PNG file. Select flat graphic and hit continue. I'm adjusting the size of my design to fit nicely on the tote bag. I'm going to add some graphic elements which I'm going to cut on foil iron on and I'm going to layer them on top of this image. To do that, you can go to my Cricut Design Space profile, Hana Crochet Design and search for some simple SVG design such as this foliage or flower. Select the design that you want to use and add to canvas. Alright, let's go back to the canvas and resize everything. Click on the text icon on the left panel if you want to add some text. To make sure that the text is exactly in the middle, select both text layer and also the image layer together. Go to the top panel, click align and select center horizontally. And this is how my final design looks like after I added all the graphic elements. If you prefer to skip the design process and get started right away, you can simply visit my profile on Cricut Design Space and check out the shared project. For the base material, I'm using Cricut tote bag. This is 100% polyester. And we're gonna print the image on Cricut printable iron-on for dark fabrics. Once you're done with all the setup in Cricut Design Space, click Make. Your artwork will be cut on two different mats. The first mat is for the image, and the second mat is for the text as well as the other graphic elements. I'm gonna send my image for printing. I'm using Canon PIXMA TS-8370 to print my image. Place your design on your mat. In Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna set up the base material to printable iron-on for dark fabric. Load fine point blade in clamp B and we're ready to cut the image. Next, I'm gonna cut out the text as well as the other graphic design elements on foil iron on. In Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna set the base material to foil iron on. And since this is an iron on project, you've got to mirror your image. Place the foil iron on on the mat. The shiny side should be at the bottom. Load your mat into the machine and press go. Once you're done with the cutting, unload your mat and wait the vinyl. You can use weeding tool to remove the small parts. I'm gonna use Cricut Auto Press to transfer my design onto the tote bag. Refer to Cricut Heat Guide on Cricut.com for setting recommendation. It helps you to determine the correct temperature, time, and pressure for your specific projects. 
according to Cricut Heat Guide, I need to preheat my machine as well as my tote bag for 5 seconds. So I'm gonna do that. Peel off this printable iron on and place it on your tote bag. I'm gonna cover my design with this protective sheet. Set up the machine temperature according to the Cricut heat guide and we are ready to transfer the design. Next, I'm gonna transfer the foil iron on material. Place the iron on face down, liner side up and then place the protective sheet over the design Set up your auto press temperature according to Cricut heat guide, then press the handle down. Slowly remove the liner when it is cool to touch. And that's it, this is how the final product looks like. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and enjoy creating your project. Remember you can find this project available in Cricut Design Space, ready for you to customize and make your own. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in my next video.